I'm Sophia Parola with Garden State Film Festival, and today I have the pleasure of interviewing the people behind the making of the feature film, The Immortals. How are you guys doing? Good, yeah, thank doing you. Great. <laughs> Very good. So awesome, we get to talk today, and then you guys are like all together. It's so cool. It kind of brings back <laughs> memories, like being in person. It feels good. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah but yeah. congratulations, guys. I mean, this is so thank awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'd love for you all to introduce yourself and the title in this film. I'll go first. I'm Danny Delossi. I was an actor, writer, producer, and director of the film. Hi, I'm Zoe Tweedy. I also wrote, produced, directed, and acted in the movie. <laughs> I'm Brian Keating. I wrote, directed, produced, edited, and was the main cinematographer for the movie. Awesome. Awesome, guys. Round of applause because not easy stuff to like do a feature. And then also like this collaboration it blows my mind that you have you three who were so heavily involved in the entire process. And then two of you actors while being correct. It's, it's, it's so great. I would love before I get into this, like all the questions and the juice of the interview, I'd love to ask you one of you to just give a little synopsis about what The Immortals is about. All right. So it's kind, it's kind of, I've never like explained the plot in less than 40 minutes because I get so into it whenever I talk about it. But basically it's like a superhero teen film. So it starts with Jack, which Danny plays, and he realizes he harnesses the power of telekinesis. And so through this, he gets approached by this charismatic guy named Felix, who kind of brings him into this anti-hero group of like misfits. There's Duke and Vera, who are two like uh, orphan twins and then Piper, who's also another orphan, and she has um, super speed, and she loves Felix. Um, so it's basically just about the group and the dynamic and how they interact with one another as they lead up to like this huge heist that they think is gonna like make them rich. But you know, other things occur <laughs> instead. <laughs> <laughs> things get in the way. Yeah. yeah. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, and life never works out the way we want it, definitely. Um, I mean, I'd love to ask you guys, all three of you were in the process of the writing uh, of the writing of this film. So what what inspired you to write this film? What was the writing process like? I mean, where did the idea come from? Okay, so I started originally with the first draft of the film, which was very different. <laughs> and it was something like 15 minutes long. And so I had this idea about this, this kid joining a group and kind of how that would kind of fall apart and how morals can stick in a group of people who have a lot of power. Um, and when I wrote it, I realized I needed a little bit of help with that. So I called on them. And then we went through the bigger process of completely refining what we already had and going forward with a totally different script. And yeah. it really worked out. And about two nights, we didn't write it in two nights, but we literally were like, oh, you want to make a 10 minute film? JK, it's going to be 60 minutes now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's going to be something like 25 minutes. Like and at very the moment. Manageable because yeah. it was like our first major project. And so then we wrote 60 minutes. Yep. <laughs> 65 pages later, we had a totally different story. Yeah, yeah we had a lot of time. Yeah. How did these 65 pages develop, especially three people writing one script? I mean, I don't know if you guys were like that, like stepping on each other's toes or was it a very like free flowing kind of process? Like how, yeah, how did those 60 other pages develop? Well, I feel like we we all knew our um, our strengths in terms of writing. so. We would, it was during quarantine, it was over quarantine, and we would FaceTime every night at like 8 p.m. <laughs> until 1 a.m., you know, 1 a.m., and we would just go crazy, and we we had like an outline uh, all, already that we did like in the first or second day, and then we just kind of followed the outline, and like we were just bouncing ideas off each other all the time, and it was it was an amazing experience writing with these guys. Like we, we, all, we all knew what we were good at, and we all, you know, incorporated that in the script and I think it was really awesome. Wow, that is so cool. I mean, like props to you guys for that dedication. <laughs> for Zoom yeah. meetings till 1 a.m. and writing a feature yeah. length. Yeah. Yeah. So it was especially good on the nights when we wrote instead of playing card games. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I mean, we got to balance it out. No work, no play. Yeah. Work. Yeah. Balance, you know? So, I mean, guys, you were saying that you wrote this during quarantine. So, I mean, that was only like a year ago. So when did you film this? What, what was the whole length of the process? So the process was pretty complicated. So we started writing, I think, April 18th. Mm -hmm. I think I remember. Around, yeah. And we finished <laughs> by May 30th around. And yeah. we fi started filming. We started production literally the day the lockdown was lifted. So June 15th, like we went and, went and bought costumes. So like basically, 
um, prior to like the lockdown being lifted, we had like gotten our cast together, like a cast of friends and people we knew in our uh, school's theater department. And we got those people together to be like the main roles and the side roles. And so it was an extremely intense filming schedule. We filmed every single day of the <laughs> summer and like for hours on end, like it was super fun. But um, I think we started filming June 30th. June 21st, I think, was yeah. the first Okay, yes, there. June 21st with Kyle. And then we finished filming on August 17th. And we filmed basically every single day. Mm -hmm. Wow. So the process. It was a, it was a great process. <laughs> it was a good time. It was yeah. a little tiring. But the schedule, sometimes. like, I scheduled the movie, and it was so intricate. Those people were like, okay, I'm going on vacation here. I'm going. And I was, like, scheduling, like, two of the movie spreadsheet. Yeah. <laughs> we, had a, we had a Google spreadsheet in there. <laughs> With like green and red. And <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, lots of, I mean, that's so, that's difficult to scheduling to begin with, but every day of filming, especially in the summer when it's hot. And then, oh but God. I mean, that's awesome that you had you three on the crew who obviously you have like this bond with, and then you got some friends together for the cast. That sounds like an awesome crew and cast. Yeah. Like you trust and had a lot of fun. It's so cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, wow. I mean, that's the only way we got through it. <laughs> it's just because we're all such, like, we're all, you know, a close knit group. So, like, we had one week where we filmed in a dojo for a week. Um, <laughs> that was like the main oh. place. It was, it was 12 hours a day. 12 for, hours a day. We'd get, I would get up at 10, be there at 11, <laughs> start filming at 12, and stop filming like 10 hours later, 11 hours later. And it was like, Seemed, it felt like 120 degrees in there. It was, yeah, it it was, was like 95 the whole time. The entire time. Yeah, oh every time we'd stop and take, we'd get fans and <laughs> over our head. So <laughs> it, 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 it helped so much that we were all such good friends. Oh, that's my dog. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it helped a lot that we were such good friends and it helped us get through it and have a great yeah. time doing it. That's so awesome. So, I mean, Daniel, you're talking about 12 hours days. It's, it's hot. You guys have all this to do. But not only were you directing and you were writing, and then you guys were also producing and getting scheduling all this, but then you had to jump out of that and go into the scene yeah. and act. And you, I mean, Daniel, you had a really heavy part. You both had heavy parts. So, what was that like wearing all those hats and then having to like kind of put that away and, and be the characters in the film? It was hard. It was definitely, it was it was definitely <laughs> difficult. It was definitely like, you know, because I mean, it wasn't that hard to memorize our lines because we wrote them. Yeah. So, <laughs> so it's like that, that kind of, that kind of was pushed to the side, but like it, it was, it was difficult because, you know, the job of an actor already is, is very taxing because you have to really know like what your motivation is and you have to, you're the, you're the person on the screen. So that was taxing, but I mean, it, it definitely helped having these guys there too um helping because it's not it's not like i i was the only director only producer yeah. like we all did it together we all shared a uh, part of it so that, that that definitely helped a lot but it was it was it was definitely taxing yeah like especially in some scenes like danny and i were the only two people in the scene so that but like so that was hard because you know we couldn't really do anything because um but it was good because like ryan was there to like balance us out so we really all like we wrote the parts so that we could do both at once but it was definitely like Ryan was great to be there because like when we needed to be in an emotional scene, like we could be there. Yeah. Yeah. I was able to, I handled pretty much most of the production aspects. So the lighting, the camera work, the sound, most of that stuff. So they were able to, when we were doing a lot of the scenes, they were able to focus on their acting and kind of directing the other actors around and figuring that That's, kind of yeah. stuff out. Yeah. Absolutely. Very cool. And then now I'd love to ask you guys, I mean, this is the high school film, correct? Yes. 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 So, I mean, was this a project? Are you guys just friends in high school that kind of got together? Like, let's make a film? Like, how did this start? So I had actually written a film back last January that I asked them to come act on. Um, and right before we had filmed it, we, I had had them help to work on the script. And so we were bored in quarantine and I wanted to write another thing. So I wrote it and then I asked them to come on. And then <laughs> after that, it developed fully naturally out of that. So it was just kind of a project just out, for of, fun. out yeah. of boredom and for fun. And it turned out into something that we really, really are proud yeah, of. Yeah, it turned out to literally a eight month commitment to something. That <laughs> yeah, where it's like people are asking us every day, like, when's the movie coming out? The movie coming out? <laughs> like, oh, I have teachers who are like, oh, like, I can't wait to see that yeah, movie. Yeah, because we put teachers in the movie. Like we put, you know, everyone like in our school is like an extra. So everyone's like, all right, what are we seeing? <laughs> yeah, exactly, <that's> <laughs> That is so cool, guys, and so inspiring, and it's just so fun. I could feel like the like fun you guys had on set and just in this little like in Zoom. It's so cool, and I mean the fact that you guys got this exactly like what you said eight months. I mean that is not it's not easy to direct a feature and like do it in the first place, but eight months the the time period that you guys did it. I mean that's like yeah. <laughs> you're patting yourself on the back because that is that's that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs>
I'd love to ask you why you wanted to submit to Garden State Film Festival and what it means having this feature length film that you guys put so much of your, your time and dedication into premiere at Garden State. Well, to be honest, I think Garden State Film Festival was our first priority because we were literally editing the movie until like 11.20 the night we submitted it. Like like Garden State submissions were due and we were like editing it and like yeah. rendering it up until the last second. So I just think for us, because we're from New Jersey, you know, we live in New Jersey. I think it'd be, we always knew that Garden State would be, especially with COVID, like probably the only one we could even physically go to or even see our um, film at. So that was definitely important to us. And I think it's just so fun that they, like this um, film festival festival offers a high school category because it just encourages people like us to do what we do, right? Like, so it gave us that extra motivation to be like, oh, wow, that we're not just going to get put or denied because we're a high school film because we're young. Like, we're going to be able to participate in this festival and get like the recognition we want, you know? So I think the combination of it being in New Jersey and also just from, you know, your social media, your Facebook, and you're just so easy to communicate with and you guys are just great over at Garden State. <laughs> so true, we just, true. we just like working with you guys and also just, it's in New Jersey and you appreciate high schoolers. So yes. <laughs> we appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, very cool. And I mean, any last, any last words, Daniel, Ryan, how does it feel to have your film in Garden State? I'm 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 so pumped! Like I am so excited, yeah, especially because yeah. we've we've started getting our like tickets and stuff to go. And Asbury Park, I mean, I uh, that's like my family's go-to shore spot. So when I saw it was Asbury Park, I was like, oh my god, I love Asbury Park. <laughs> so I'm I'm so excited! Like I this is an amazing opportunity. We are all so honored to yeah. to even be like yeah. a part of this. It's the same idea for me. I mean, it's so cool to be in the same kind of thing with people that are in the industry already and are already making these films. It's really nice to have that experience and be able to go and experience the same things that they're able to do and to kind of get an idea of what it'll be like in the yeah. future. Yeah. What they said. I'm just really excited. <laughs> <laughs> We're all so excited, especially at our age. It's just mm -hmm. it, this is phenomenal. This is this is it really is. I I'm so blown away by the talent of you three and the fact that you did it in such a short time and the fact that you committed to something. I mean, that alone is hard to do. And then just watching the film, it's beautiful. And like one of the things I was talking about Kate before we went on, I mean, I love the camera angles you guys did, the 360 shots. And there's so much, so much beautiful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. having you guys on my end. Thoughts. I had been talking about that shot to them the entire <laughs> writing process. I wrote that scene and I was like, we're doing it in a circle. We're doing it in a circle. I'm buying a gimbal. <laughs> this was Ryan's magnum opus. <laughs> <laughs> So amazing. I mean, I'm like, I, I'm, I'm so happy that you guys talked about how you can also go in person because we have a hybrid this year. Last year was all virtual. This year is a hybrid. So your film will be premiering in person, which is very, very cool. People get to meet you and see this film in person and, and also have the opportunity to see it at home. So it is so awesome, guys. Let me tell everyone how you can see this film when it's premiering. It will be premiering Sunday, March 28th in the venue of Asbury Lanes, Asbury Hall in the film block 11.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. So it sounds like you guys are, are going to be there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. We're bringing awesome. everybody. <laughs> everybody else, the whole high school, all your teachers, bring oh, us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyone who's willing to spend the money. <laughs> right. And awesome. Some people have a chance to meet the filmmakers and the stars in the film. I mean, it's so awesome. I cannot congratulate you guys enough. And I know that your future as filmmakers will be so successful. This is just the beginning. If you guys can comp accomplish this at this age, I mean, I can't imagine what you can accomplish in the future. And always submit to Garden State because oh, yes. we love it. <laughs> Especially from Jersey. Um, you know, your success is our success. So thank you guys so much. Thank, thank you so, you. Much. so, so much. Thank you. Jack, please sit. Make yourself at home here. This is our little family. And we want to make you feel comfortable. But first, we need to show you what we're all about. Jack, you are much more powerful than you know. We all are. What does that mean? Trust me, and you'll find out.
We want you as part of our family. Now, do you want us?